Hey guys, it's David from mtbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how easily you can create, publish and share a project with your friends using MDB CLI. So in order to start using MDB CLI, navigate to mdbootstrap.com slash CLI or find link to CLI in the menu on the left side. Once you open the page, click get started and here you're gonna find the instruction and video which explain you how to install MDB CLI. In order to install CLI, you need to have Node and NPM installed. Once you have it, simply run npm install minus g mdb cli command and this will install cli on your computer. Now open terminal and type mdb login. Provide your username and password, exactly the same you use to login on MD Bootstrap page. If you don't have one, you can create it first. Now let's initiate some new project. Let's type mdb init and choose one of the predefined mdb templates. I'm gonna use mdb5. Keep in mind that you can also initiate an empty project using mdb init dash dash blank which will create an npm or yarn project depending on your choice. Now let's navigate to the folder which was created. Now let's use mdb set name to give our project nice name. Let's call it shared project. Now we can choose whether we want to use npm or yarn. Now the wizard will guide you through the remaining process. I'm gonna accept all the default values. And our project is ready. Now we can open this in a text editor. And let's check the preview. Now let's add some changes to our project. Let's say, hello shirt project. Now we can create repository for our project. Let's type mdb create. This may ask you to log in to mdb using the credentials which you use before. Now, if you navigate to mdbgo.com, you're gonna see your project on the list. Our project hasn't been published yet, but it already has a repository. We can click manage and we're gonna see our repository address. If we navigate to the repository, you will see your project page. Now, from settings, you can go to members and invite some of your friends to collaborate with you on the project. So I'm gonna invite Sebastian and now Sebastian has access to my project. So the last thing we have to do is to publish our project. If we try to publish using MDB publish, console will warn us if we have some uncommitted changes. So let's commit them, git add, git commit minus m, initial commit, let's say, and git push. Now when all changes are committed and there is no changes pending, we can publish our project using mdb publish. Now once you navigate to mdbgo.com again, you're gonna see the address of your project and once you click on it, you're going to see your project published to the web. I hope you're going to find using MDB CLI a very easy and convenient way to create, initiate and publish your project as well as collaborate with your friends. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to join our Facebook group. You're going to find the link description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you're going to find new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.